So my good friend Jordan, you guys probably remember Jordan, he decided to come get me and take me for a ride in his four-wheel drive truck. He just got some new all-terrain tires and he's learning the lesson that we all learn when we start to four-wheel drive. What is that, Jordan? I'm stuck. <laughs> Everybody gets stuck, but the key is you gotta have recovery gear of some kind. So that's the lesson. Yeah, we don't have any recovery gear. <laughs> so Jordan, what, how are we going to get unstuck? Yeah, uh, Nathan's wife is on the way. <laughs> in her RAV4? Uh, no, in the cruiser. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, so, so we're going to Yeah, but fun. you can't get out. I, I have a boot, but I can put a sock or something nope, over you it. ain't getting out. <laughs> you ain't getting out of this car. You stay right here. Okay. I so, will take care of this. So watch for the footage of this video to come out later. Oh, please don't. Oh, it's good. Oh, God, this is fun. I've been stuck a hundred times i've had to call for help multiple times had to call your father-in-law once show, show them where embarrassing we are. oh yeah so there we go this is where we are and you know what let me roll down the window well don't open the door like you did before i'm not gonna open the door so we're just stuck in this clay pit and um maybe not saying you did anything wrong but maybe if we I wasn't had, going fast enough if we had a little more momentum i think we would have bounced right through it but oh well all right fun times you good jordan Yep. Don't look disappointed. This is fun. This is fun. This is good times. So with my good friend Jordan, uh, he is taking out his Ford F-150 four-wheel drive with brand new all-terrain tires. What were those? Cooper's all Cooper all-terrains? Yeah. Let's go right through there. Oh, right. wait a second. Let's think about it. Nope. I'm doing it. Go for it. Oh, there's a pretty good big hole. Hit it hard. Go. Momentum. Momentum. Nicely done. <laughs> Don't run over the old mattresses. <laughs> well done. Okay, so go to the left, and you want to take the four-wheel drive off on the pavement. Yeah, there you go. You, you, does it feel really sluggish? Yeah. You can probably put it in a second. There you go. So you want to choose your line well here. You don't want to tear off the front bumper. If it was me, I would put my right tire on that middle piece and put my left tire over here in the grass. Right. But as long as you're not going to hit that tree, there I'm you go. Hit the tree. I mean, over here. I mean, turn to put your like over here. I would put my right tire right on that. Like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there you go. Let's see what happens. Yes, nicely done. <laughs> okay, now don't go too much faster than that in four low. And here we go again. Oh boy. <laughs> if you go that way, I think you can go down a hill. Alright. So, um,. There's the logs and stuff here, so be careful. So yeah, go this way a little bit, and I think you should be able to jog left in a minute. Uh, maybe right there. Well, the trees are kind of tight. If you go a little bit farther, now nah, you're gonna end up. No, okay. Well, let's just go this way, unless you don't want to. Yeah. I just don't want you to something like that. You know, you don't want to get on the undercarriage. No. Okay. Oh, we dodged all the fun stuff. Oh well. All right. There's another place we can go. <laughs> Don't forget about your, yeah, good man. 
So Jordan, did you ever go four wheeling back home in England? No. No? no this I mean, is they've got those Defenders and those other great vehicles. Yeah, I've never, I've, I've just never done it before. No, no one that I knew ever had. The only person that ever had a four by four was um, a girl that I knew had a Subaru Justy. Yeah, that sort of counts. <laughs> so what you're telling me is all the people you knew back in England were practical and sensible. Uh, I don't know about practical <laughs> and sensible, but yeah, just none, none of them really into into four by four four wheeling. Ah well, their loss. But this is honestly the first four by four I've ever owned, so they're a lot of fun. Okay, so uh, take a right here, like to go around that tree. Yeah, you can go that way if you want to. We're gonna go that way. This yeah, there's a the city water comes out here, and I think it goes on to the high school. So they have to. Uh oh, it's like a pump station. I think four high is probably good for this. All right, and we're gonna go down to, around that way. So usually there's a little bit of mud as soon as you. Well, the, well yeah, there's a little bit. So don't get us into the lake, but it just go through. Dry. Go through it with some momentum. There's the pond with the alligator. If I ever see him again. An so all of this, I've seen him in there a few times. All Maybe. of this is blackberries. All of that stuff right there. Oh goodness. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You could fill up five gallon buckets full of them. Oh, that's a large pond. Oh yeah. Oh, I bet he's happy than happier than anything in there all by himself. And when the river overflows once in a while, it will actually flood into that. So I think it probably brings new fish and stuff into it, yeah. you know? see the actual pond. Go back her up. That is uh that is impressively large. It is. Huh. Well then you could take a little a little skiff in there and definitely. It's several acres. I mean it's a big pond. Yeah. Let's let's see if we can get down to the river. Okay. So I'm just gonna kind of go? go to the right like be careful here because there's some like yeah, you want you want no well yeah we might can go that way i've never done that it looks like it's a nice clean trail it, it'll loop back up to where we we're gonna go that one looks more fun let's go that way then fun as is um careful there we go <laughs> <laughs> I almost broke my fingers trying to reach for the handle oh pow about four wheeling the thumbs thumbs always on the outside that's yeah <laughs> I think that's what they say and if, if you're drifting I think that may also be important oh yeah yeah I'm sure but thumbs on the outside for sure You never know, oh, what you're gonna do it. But if you're gonna do it, you need to get it with some momentum. Yeah, I'm not going around that. All right, well, um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Back up? <laughs> Back up, and get a little more momentum than that. Because <laughs> you got a second one to get through too, and this first one's gonna slow you down. Oh boy. Ready? Wait, are you ready? Of course. <laughs> okay, let's go. I have gotten stuck here before. I don't think I told you that. Oh, you have? Oh, no. Okay, all right, don't floor it. Now, put it in reverse. It's just steam coming from the brakes. Steam coming from the brakes. All right, now what? Just, is it, are you getting any traction at all? Okay, stop, put it in neutral. 
Now, put it in four to low. Okay. And put it in drive. Four second or first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just ease it. Now rotate your wheels a little bit so maybe you'll get traction. Any traction? Okay, rotate it back that way. All right, put it in reverse. What is going on back there? That's just your mufflers in the mud. It's okay. just bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. Okay. Okay, good. Yep, yep, yep. Easy, easy. Now straighten your wheels a little bit. Okay, now stop. Yep. Put it back in drive. Yep. And try to go forward. Okay, stop. Yep. Put it in reverse. You just want to rock it. Yep, yep, keep it going. Okay, stop. Yeah. Now ease forward just a little bit. I think getting out backwards is going to be our ticket here. Turn your wheel this way a little bit. Okay, stop. As soon as you feel like uh, you're no longer getting any momentum or you know any traction, you want to go in the other direction. Turn your wheels. Try to turn it that way. This way? No, the other way. Just, yeah, now see, now see. Nothing. Let's try forward again. We'll get out, don't worry. Where? In your freezer. You got any back there? No, I don't. It's too bad. I need some. You're fine. It's just off camber. You're good. Jennifer, you're almost here to rescue us. <laughs> I'm sorry. I filled Jordan with the GoPro. He, oh, there she is. There she is, Jordan. Look behind you. <laughs> All right. So just turn around and back up to him. Hey, Jordan. Tell her to back tell her to back up to you. <laughs> I'm having to film from inside the apartment because Jordan won't allow me. Jordan, do you have a hook to your car already? No. Okay, good. That is good right there. As long, you, can you reach your car fully? No. We'll get her to back up till you can reach it. Back a little further, Jen. What? You must have pulled it. All right, stop. Put it in park, Jen. Okay, you're gonna do it to my vehicle first. You need both ends up there with you at that vehicle. So pull that through the loop. Pull the strap through that loop. Stop. Now pull all of the strap through the loop on the strap. You know what I'm saying? Stop right there. Nope. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. That's all you need to do. That little uh, loop will fix it. That loop will pull it. Yep. Okay. So just get it really tight. You want the thickest part of the strap to be in the loop. There you go. Good. Good. All right. So now, what have we got to hook on the back of your truck? Not a lot. I, it's all it's underwater. Is it just the ball? Yeah. No. Well, I can't even see the ball. Can you feel it with your hands? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jake, can you back up a little bit more? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh man, it's like knee deep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good stuff right there. It's just on the Slam ball. it. All right. Okay, it's on the ball? It's on the ball. Okay, so come get in the driver's seat. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put some tension on it first to make sure it doesn't snap off. Um. You, well, 
you really want to come in and be in reverse when she does that. Really? Yep. Well, I tell you what, that's not a bad idea. Put a little tension on it first. Just get out of the way, Jordan. But do it very slowly, Jen. I gotta stay here. But just get out of the way in case it comes off, you know. Slowly. Okay. Oh. A little more. Right okay, there. stop. Right Put there. it in park. Right there. Okay. Okay, now you. <laughs> oh my goodness, the tire is all the way down. We're going to get it out. You're going to come right out. Man, I told you she wasn't going to be mad, Jordan. He was so scared you could be mad at him for. I haven't gotten out, though. He wouldn't let me. I could stand right there. Yeah. Okay, just hang on on the drinks, I guess. Ah. Ah. Let's see those feet. Oh. Okay. Okay, you can get in there. Thankfully, you got this nice rubber flooring. <laughs> Wash your feet off in the mud. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my phone. Oh, God. Oh, no. You'll be all right. Yes, ma'am. I am. Okay, you're fine. So, basically, when I... When I tell you to, just put it in drive. Can you hear me okay? Keep your door shut. Okay, when I tell you to, just put it in drive and drive forward and go forward towards that sand, that dirt that you came down on over to the right. You know what I mean? Okay. You might want to close your window. Hold on a second. All right. Okay, hold on. So put it in reverse, Jordan. It's in. Okay, Jen Jennifer, can you hear me? All right, don't touch the gas or the anything. No brake or nothing. nothing. Just, okay, Jen, start easing forward and go in there and let's see if it'll stay connected. Go ahead. Give it some gas. Keep going. Don't be scared. Keep going. Good job. Drive towards that dirt. Okay, stop right there. Jordan, back up just a little bit to take the slack out of the line. Or, you know, to Jennifer, stop. I don't understand. Why didn't you put your foot on the brake? Oh, that ain't a good thing. All right, bye. Okay, so my foot is not on the ground. Get back in the car, man. <laughs> I'm already out now. No. Wait. Do you want me to back up right there? No, he can do it. But the brake fluid thing on mine is real weird. It just pops off like a cork. It doesn't unscrew. It's right on. It's right next to the the back of the engine on the driver's side. It wasn't overheating, was it? I got to come over there. I, I'm out. I just need to come over there now. Coming down here. It looks like a marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs>
Where's the where's the light? Why is it so hot? <laughs> I don't know. The radiator's right there. Okay. All right. That's where's your brake fluid? fluid? That little thing back there. Which that, one? The little it's kind of bluish. Like a cork? Yep. You just pop it off. It's it's full, man. Is it full? It's I don't understand why the brakes went all the way to the floor then. It's in between max and... I pop mean, the lid off of it anyway. It's closer to max than... than just pop the lid off of it anyway and see if it like sucks something down. You're doing it right. Just pull it straight up. You don't want to get that little thing dirty at all. No, man. Does it start going down? Mm -hmm. Okay, put it back in. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, God. Why? Why? I don't know. Why? All right. Thank you, sir, for checking that. Okay, you gotta disconnect our umbilical cord. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, now I need this. That thing did pretty good. Indeed. It's just so slippy. So the part that's come through, twist it and make it hard and then push it back through the loop. Does Ashley know you're stuck? Yeah. So when I send her this picture, she'll like it. Oh, I want to see it. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> the, does it, is it working? No. It's caked in mud. <laughs> Clay mud. Oh, jeez, man. Uh, Nathan did nothing wrong. Oh, you mean you're going to tell him about Jordan? Okay. So this is where Jordan got stuck, and frankly, lots of people have been stuck here. It's no reflection on the fact that he drives a Ford. Uh, well, maybe a little. But um, he just needed to hit it with more momentum, and we could have made it through. Or if he had just gone around it, as I suggested, Either way, we would not have gotten stuck. But anyways, no problem. Land Cruiser came to the rescue. And that was not planned. So uh, we got a new issue. Um, I got back in the car with Mrs. King Overland. And I was going to let Jordan follow us out. And uh, the vehicle wouldn't start. The key will turn. Everything comes on. It was running fine 10 minutes before we cut it off. No issues. And the key will turn, lights come on, accessories come on, but the vehicle won't start. So anyway, I think this is the problem. This key will turn in the ignition, but I think that maybe it's so worn out that it's just not making the ignition initialize. You know, it's got no teeth left on it at all. So I'm not sure if, that, if that's how this would work or not. I've never had this happen before. But it's even kind of funny when you put it in here. Right, See? Shelby is putting it on the I don't know. So what we're doing is going to get okay. another set of keys. Or we're sending Jordan to go get another set of keys that are better. All right. Run. And there goes Jordan. Our only hope. Let's hope he makes it back. So just to follow up to what you saw previous to this, I like to give credit where credit is due. I thought the key wasn't wasn't working. I thought that was a problem. My wife would put it into the ignition, turn it all the way to the right. You know, the accessories would come on, the dash lights would come on, but it just wouldn't start. It, the starter wasn't even attempting to turn, if you know what I mean. So I really thought something was wrong with the key. I texted the Toyota Guru. I tried to call you, Chris. I texted the Toyota Guru to ask him a question. He said, yeah, that can happen. So I was acting under the assumption that that was a problem. And it didn't seem like it could be anything electrical related, you know, with the with the charging system. Because uh, Mrs. King Overland had just driven out there, no problem, pulled this out, and then shut off the vehicle. And then it just wouldn't start back. Jordan immediately said, to his credit, do you need a jump? And I'm like, well, I don't think so. Uh, we turned the key on and my scan, scan gauge, um, I never really looked at it. Should have done that. So he went home. He went to my house. My daughter put uh, my regular key onto the 
uh, the rug on, on the front door, at, under the front door. Jordan brought those keys back to us. We tried with those keys, or that key, still nothing. So, I got out my battery tester, my electrical tester, and the batteries. I have two front batteries. Not Neither one of those are the house battery. I have a lot of lights on the roof, and I want, when I'm driving out in the woods at night, the alternator is not enough to keep up with all the lights, so it's drawn on the batteries, and I don't want my batteries to die while I'm driving through the woods at night with all my lights on. I have two front batteries. So, check the check the voltage on both of those, and they were less than 12 volts. In fact, they were giving weird readings, just bouncing all around. So, Jordan nosed up to my bumper almost. We put the cables on, and after five seconds connected, my wife turned the key, cruiser started right up. So it was that it needed to jump, and I know what happened. So, except with the exception of one 30-minute ride about a week and a half ago, I have not done anything with the cruiser other than my wife has moved it to mow the grass in the yard because I park it just off the driveway in the grass. And I have a light controller for all of my auxiliary lights on the roof and also for my train horn. Uh, all of that feeds into a little controller that I got from a company. It's a great, great product. And I'll tag them in the description if I can find their information. They actually gave it to me about two years ago, and I've used it to control all my lights. It centralizes everything, and it's not a solid-state system, which I don't... I've never tried a solid-state system, so I'm not cracking on those. I just... I like the idea of being able to replace a relay if I need to. In a solid-state system, it's all done in the digital realm, and if that fails on you out on a track somewhere, I don't know what you'd do. I wouldn't... I don't have the knowledge to fix it. I don't think anybody could fix it on the trail. But if a relay goes bad, or if a fuse goes bad, you can just replace it. Anyway, when I installed that, the idea is that you should wire it through the ignition so that it won't be able to be used unless the ignition is turned on. I did not do it that way because sometimes when I'm at camp, I like to use those lights to light up the area for a while, and I didn't want to have to put the key in to do it. So it was wired directly to my two front batteries, and I do have a, a fuse breaker up there that I can turn off or on. It's just sitting on the secondary battery up front. And I had left it on for weeks. And so that little that little lighted control box was drawing electricity for weeks. And it must have been enough to drain the batteries down to where they were almost kaput. And the short drive over to us was not enough to recharge the batteries. Now, interestingly, I was almost out of gas. So Mrs. King Overland had to stop to get us gas on the way over. And thankfully, when she cranked back up there, it fired up. Otherwise, that would have been interesting. She would have been stuck there. We would have been stuck in the woods, and I don't know what we would have done. So, anyway, Jordan jumped us off. We drove home. I did not get any GoPro footage of that. So, the cruiser saved Jordan, and then Jordan saved the cruiser. So, that's a fair exchange. And uh, Jordan would have been able to make it through that muck, I believe, with a little more momentum. So, it's not that his vehicle wasn't capable I just think a little faster, we would've got through it. We don't wanna just go around sending it and tearing up the tracks, tearing up the trails. And you can see that whole area is becoming a garbage dump. It is abandoned property where a neighborhood was being developed. And um, back during the real estate bubble when it popped, they just went under. So all of that, we were driving through trees and everything, that was completely clear about 12 years ago. There were no trees there. They cut them all down. And all of that that you saw as we were driving around has come back since the, uh, the real estate bubble popped and they, they went under. So there's in that neighborhood, I think there was going to be like 150 homes constructed. Only three ever got constructed, and they are all occupied. They're right out at the, at the edge of that at the road. So um, a lot of people go back there and ride, and people are starting to take trash back there, which is a shame because literally five minutes away from there is a county dump. So why wouldn't you just drive out there five minutes away and take your trash to the correct location? And believe me, they don't turn anything away. I've taken old cans of paint and old jugs of engine oil that we found in a shed that we, uh, we now use that were there for ages. They didn't turn it away. I mean, there was a specific place to put it, but they don't turn anything away. 
that I'm aware of. So, you know, mattress, we saw mattresses, old couches. Just take it to where you should take it, people. Anyway, so it was a fun ride. I want to go out with Jordan again. Uh, he went home with his skin moisturized with nice red clay. I think people pay a lot of money for that, a mud bath. So Jordan got that, and I imagine that the, uh, the Ford, uh, I believe Jordan likes to call it Big Nasty. It's living up to his name this morning, unless he had time to wash it last night. And uh, I'll get him to send me some pictures of him washing it if he hasn't already done it. So thanks for watching. This was a lot of fun. Very raw video. I'm not going to edit it. I may throw a couple of you know, uh, text boxes on the screen to describe what I'm trying to say because in a couple of cases I could tell I did not, did not say what I was trying to say in giving my directions. And uh, anyway, other than that, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm not going to edit it. I'm not going to try to make it uh, less shaky. It is what it is. It was very uh, spur of the moment. Didn't have anything to mount the GoPro to. I was just holding it on uh, a little rod, one of those selfie rod kind of things to, uh, to point it out the window. So funny stuff, completely unscripted, and a good time was had by all. And neither one of us got into too much trouble with our wives about the situation, which is a good thing. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe um, and check out my other stuff. Thanks a lot.